Hi there, Mouseketeers! Welcome back to my channel. If you are a returning friend, and if you are new or you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, go ahead and you know give me that little Christmas Eve gift um, of year subscription. Um, anywho, guys, today I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit brief because I know we all have stuff to do, and I do want to say Merry Christmas Eve if you're watching this on Christmas Eve, or just happy day of whenever you're watching this. But I have a ton of things that I'm gonna open, which is why I'm gonna keep it brief. These are all things sent to me either as gifts or trades by uh, friends and YouTube friends and you guys. So I'm really excited to dig into this. I've pre-opened everything um, and I'm just so excited. Some of these things you're going to see on my December pin board, which I am going to put up on Christmas Day. Um, originally I was going to try to cram this and the pin board in today and I just feel like I don't have the time and you don't have the time to watch it and like <laughs> let's just be real we are going to not be caught up on anybody's vlog miss every single day of the holiday and you might even be watching this video the pinboard video whatever by New Year's um, and that's super cool and awesome because I know by that point we're all gonna be like what am I watching I need more content because um, <laughs> we're used to watching hours of vlog miss a day right but yeah I'm really excited to, to clear all this and be able to put so much, much of it on my pin board and just kind of show you guys some wonderful things that people sent me. Now, if you made a trade with me uh, back when I did my big trader board video and you include something Christmassy, then I did put you in this video. If, however, we um, we did the trade and there was nothing Christmassy about your package, then I am going to absolutely showcase you and shout you out in a future video. This is just for Christmassy holiday related things. I'm gonna go completely random, just grab whatever is in the box, um, and this was sent to me by, oops, well, there goes the note, let's see, Amanda, and um, she said thanks for the trade. Thank you too, Amanda. Oh, this was a pretty hefty trade, there's a lot in here. One, two, three, four, five, and six pins, my goodness gracious. And actually, two of those pins were gifted to me. So, um, oh, and a lot of these are going to be for my um, holiday pin board too. So, super awesome. As I start opening these, um, I just want to let you know that, like, it's really hard to trade sometimes, guys. Like, unless you're trading mystery bag pin for mystery bag pin, or Hong Kong lollipop pin for Hong Kong lollipop pin, it can be incredibly hard to come up with a trade for pins that are of, like, unequal value. And obviously, I was able to do that with a lot of wonderful people. Um, but I just want to kind of put that out there for future trades. Like, if you're trying to trade for a pin that's a mystery pin, and you have a mystery pin, there you go. Like, a, just like a mystery book box or bag pin, like, there you go. It's probably going to be pretty, pretty easy. But if you're looking to trade for, like, um, an LE pin or a pin that's more rare, you might have to be willing to give up a little bit more. Like, it's not going to be a one-for-one -one trade, typically. Um, and... Amanda was really awesome about that. Like, I don't even remember how many pins exactly I sent her. It really wasn't about the number of pins. It was about just making sure we were really both happy with the trade. And she wound up telling me she was going to throw in a couple of the extras that you're going to see. Um, and so I actually wound up throwing in an extra Hong Kong lollipop pin for her that was one of the original pins she had said she was interested in. So, you know, sometimes people are really cool like that and... We, we send each other extras. I did realize that um, John pulled this pin out of a bag. Uh, it's a pin I bought at a Hot Topic. I totally forgot I bought it. So now I do have a double of this, but I think I can definitely um, retrade the one I bought back into the universe. So this is the pin I traded for that turns out I already own, but that's cool. I clearly liked it, right? I wanted to purchase it and trade for it. I know I got this one at Hot Topic. I'm not sure if you can get it at Box Lunch or, or elsewhere, um, but I will probably be either gifting this, uh, the one I purchased, or uh, trading it back to someone else. I wound up trading for both of the Disney Store Ugly Sweater sets. This one I really, really like the jingle ball on it. The sweater is cool, but I really like the jingle ball Mickey head the most. 
And this one, I think I kind of like the sweater a little bit better, even though the peppermint Mickey head is super cute. So maybe I wouldn't have needed to trade for both if uh, the green sweater and the, the jingle ball had come together, but I'm super glad I was able to get both because I never found these at my Disney store. And I also traded for this Hades pin that was from the Mickey's Not So Scary Mystery set this year. Um, I only have three of these pins. I'm not really looking to complete the whole set, but because she had it, I figured, you know, why the heck not? She told me she was going to throw this pin in for me as an extra, which was so nice. And it is Belle as, like, in book form. And that's from a recent Hot Topic mystery set, and I wasn't able to get my hands on that. But this is absolutely gorgeous. And then this pin, after we had already decided on the trade, she asked me if um, John actually would think this pin was cool. It's a limited release pin for Return of the Jedi. I think that's really cool. Uh, I guess it's celebrating 35 years, and it features my favorite character from the Star Wars universe, who's Darth Vader. Um, and I really wasn't sure if she was trying to like extend the trade or anything like that, so I kind of just was like, oh, that's awesome. Because I really liked it, but I didn't really have anything else um, that I was looking to trade for it but then she wound up showing me like a picture of all of the pins together for the trade and she included this so I realized she was just giving it to me and that's when I decided to throw in a bonus um, Hong Kong lollipop for her. So again thank you so much Amanda it was lovely to trade with you and I hope that we can trade again someday. Next package, another trade. This trade was with Matt, um, but also Matt's girlfriend. I just only spoke to Matt. And it says, thank you for trading with us. Hope you love the pin, Matt and Maria. Hey, Matt and Maria. Um, this pin is not like uh, maybe super Christmassy to others, but we both were opening the, oh wow, he threw in like a lot of Disneyland guide maps. That's super awesome. We have the castle all lit up, we have Mickey and Minnie, Minnie in holiday gear, and um, we have this Pixar map, which I think was this was one of the ones that was there when I was actually there for Pixar Fest. Um, but we both were opening up the Disneyland mystery box set of the 13 Days of Christmas, or the tarot card set for Nightmare Before Christmas, Holiday, Mansion, Haunted Mansion mashup. That's a lot of words to say that. And so they had, Matt had seen that I had opened an extra Oogie Boogie and I'm looking to complete the whole set. So I was able to trade for that and you will see this set so far. I have not completed it yet, unfortunately. That's a 2019 goal. Um, you'll see what I have so far on my holiday pin board tomorrow. You can see Sleeping Beauty's castle all lit up. That's definitely a goal for me to see that in real life. Mickey and Minnie in their holiday festive attire which I think is super cute and then a Pixar Fest brochure which I believe I saw this when I was also there they had banners of this too so I could be getting that confused you can see I was able to trade for the nine magic crystals pin which um, I so I guess that spiders holding up eight crystals somehow um, I'm gonna really have to examine this further but I like that it's red it is putting me in a super Christmassy mood it's a Christmas spider everybody so thank you Matt and Maria for the trade. I hope that we both are able to complete that set really, really soon. Next, oh, this is a trade with Sylvia. And um, she was just super lovely to trade with. And she jammed in a whole bunch of things inside this mailer. So I don't, I, I think the reason I included it today was because there's a Christmas card that goes in here. Oh, and it's such a pretty one. I opened it to make sure it was a Christmas card because otherwise I would have saved this package for a later video. But it is, it says, Christmas is bright with the shining miracles of hope and peace and joy. Oh my goodness, and there is such a long note in here, so I probably won't read the whole thing, but let's uh, skim it. It says, uh, the card itself says, May this holiday season bring wonderful things to you. Hi Kate, thank you so much for trading with me. This is my first trade through Mailer. I'm so excited it's with you. It is really nerve-wracking and exciting to start trading on, um, like, via mailer but it's fun she's followed me for a long time she likes that i bring disney magic with each video thank you and so she added some extra magic to this trade that is so lovely oh my goodness and it says that i'm gonna find some extras with my favorite characters on them so she has been paying attention for sure um so sylvia you're studying early child care she wants to help children with special needs bring them disney magic that is lovely that is definitely the kind of spirit we should all be thinking like especially this time of year and she also just made an Instagram, which will hopefully be filled with Disney and pin related content. So I will put that right here. It is at Daily Disney Wishes. Daily Disney Wishes. And um, 
she just kind of think like thanks I feel like all the youtubers out there who are doing vlogmas and that is really fun she's sending me and John all the best in the new year and I'm sending that right back to you Sylvia thank you very much so let's see what these favorite characters are of mine that she's included oh my god this is a surprise play pack I don't know what that means but it includes one collectible character of either Belle or Ariel and I'm gonna read on the back where it says this includes a 24 page fun sized coloring book from a surprise oh and a surprise foam character oh my gosh well I have to find Gail which it is I love both of these princesses of course Belle is my favorite um, but Ariel was my favorite princess for my entire life until I started pin collecting and then I was like you know what I kind of am just more interested in collecting Belle pins so I'd be excited with either of these but I have to say I'm a little bit more hoping it's Belle it's Belle! That's amazing! That is some Christmas Eve magic right there. And it's this beautiful um, picture. It's made of foam with Belle, and I could pop Belle out. But I don't know. Maybe I really like the background, too. Oh, and it comes with a little stand, so you can pop the stand out and she can stand. That is so cute. I'm definitely going to keep that. But I might just want to keep it all together and put it on my pin board, because I think that that is just lovely. And it comes with a little coloring book. That is so adorable. And it has my favorite bell on the front. And a lot of other people's favorite bell on the back. This is this is really cute. Like little Lumiere and Cogsworth you can color in. Really cute coloring book pages, some activities. This was super thoughtful. I really wonder where you got this, Sylvia, because I have not seen this anywhere around. So I definitely appreciate this, and it will definitely be put to very fun and good use. And if you want to see a close-up of Sylvia's card, also, I'm definitely going to be putting that on my pin board for tomorrow. There are a ton of stickers in here. Princesses Frozen. Oh my goodness. I'll show this one for sure. Olaf. I love him. Oh, And just some really cute holiday-themed stickers as well. Oh, that's so cute. You really have been paying attention, Sylvia. It's some washi tape, but it's not just any Disney slash Pixar character. It's Cars Lightning McQueen themed washi tape. You can see, I think that's Cruz Ramirez and, and Jackson Storm up there. And yeah, it specifically does say Cars 3 on there, so that is so cute. I can't decide if I like Cars 1 or Cars 3 better. It's not 2. I'm not a huge Cars 2 fan. I will watch it, but I prefer to only watch like parts of it if I just happen to catch it somehow. Um, oh my goodness, there are even more Zoom Zoom stickers. Some of those like really classic Mickey Mouse stickers. And of course we have to get to the pins. I honestly, I have such a hard time remembering what I trade certain people for because I just make so many trades. So I'm excited. Um, I'm gonna open this one first. Really, really well packaged. That is always appreciated, even if you have to struggle to get it, get it out. Oh, oh, this is awesome. This is awesome sauce. I really wanted to show you how she packaged these up. Look at the time she took to make that look so pretty. So I am trying to definitely collect the Princess Cameo set. I had previously traded for this, but I never actually showed it on my channel because when I got it, there were some big flaws in the pin and I was a little disappointed. But this one looks absolutely stunning to me and I cannot wait to add it to my Cinderella board. And the other pin, she had, I, I am, whenever I'm trading, I'm always just looking for like really unique things. And I've never seen this one before. It's featuring Locke um, from Lock, Shock, and Barrel. And then also, I don't remember what the guy with the axe in his head's name is. He's very funny in the movie, but I don't remember what his name is. So if you feel like, you know, commenting it down below, go for it. Otherwise, I'll definitely look it up and remind myself. Or I really just need to watch Nightmare Before Christmas again. So I'll have to do that. I feel like that was the only, uh, those were the only pins I traded with Sylvia for. And then this note says, Hi Kate, I remember you and John really liked the movie Cars. So when I saw this, I immediately thought of you. Hope it puts a smile on your face. Gosh, people are just so nice, aren't they? That is so kind. Oh my God, it is putting such a smile on my face. This is awesome! I have not seen this! It is a Christmas tree ornament of Lightning McQueen, who is definitely, definitely my favorite movie from the Cars franchise. 
I love this so much, Sylvia. I super appreciate it. It means a lot to me. That is so cute. Oh my god, I definitely will be putting this in my tree. I feel like I need to get like um, a, a mini tree. I actually have a few mini trees. Um, and I, I might need to do like a specific Disney mini tree and put like little ornaments like this on it because I don't want them to get swallowed up by the huge tree that we have. Thank you again so much, Sylvia. That like really, really did put a smile on my face. I have another super big package here and I do think I traded for a whole bunch of pins with this person. Um, so I traded with Amy. Hey Amy. And she said thank you for the trade. It was lovely chatting with you. I do tend to chat with people that I make trades with. Um, it's not just completely business like usually. Um, and I hope you have a great holiday season too. Amy says she appreciates that I gave her something to watch. <laughs> oh my gosh, believe me, there has been so much Vlogmas content. I have to be honest guys, I'm not 100% sure I'm going to do Vlogmas again next year. Just because, like, it is so, so time consuming. Like, I can't even tell you. Oh, but I did want to show you, she actually packed the pins really nicely in bubble wrap. And then put them in these holiday, like this one has a reindeer on it, these little um, treat bags, I guess you would, they would be. So I'll empty out both treat bags, like wow, I really did tr make a really big trade with Amy, I wish I could remember for what. Which is awesome, like the more you can trade in one mailer, the better. Okay, uh, let me pull these out, okay, I'm already getting super excited, because <laughs> I'm remembering what I traded for. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I had to, now I'm realizing why I had to include this in the holiday pin trade video. Because there are a couple of holiday themed pins in here. And oh my god, these bags are in such nice condition. I'm going to count that as part of um, a Christmas present to me. And keep these for future uh, mailers. The first thing I was able to trade for were these stars that I think were Disney um, store pins last year and I've wanted them for so long probably ever since I saw them last year for the first time like in maybe February or March and I was so excited to see Pluto because I had not actually seen Pluto before I'd only ever seen the Mickey and Minnie ones um, and I'm going to definitely take these out of the bags and give you a close-up of them on my pin board tomorrow this um, Buzz Lightyear and Aliens pin was definitely a pin I have been looking to purchase for a long 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 time so I was super super excited to be able to trade for it and this was a pin I'm look I got to expand my Toy Story collection. I really do love Bullseye quite a bit. I feel like everybody does, right? And it was a limited edition pin that was available to Visa card members. And I am a Disney Visa card member, um, but I was not able to get my hands on this pin. It is so, so pretty. I love that blue background. I just took the, the pin off the, the backer to see if there was like a limited edition number. There's not. Um, but look, it moves. And I think she did tell me that, but I forgot. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you again, Amy, so much for the trade. It was so great to be able to trade a whole bunch of things with you. This next trade was from Maria, and I've been talking to Maria a lot um, on Instagram. She was she was really kind one day and reached out and said, like, you share so much of your life with people on the internet. I thought I would share a little bit back with you about my family, and she shared some pictures, and it was just really, really sweet of her to think of me um, like that. And um, so I traded one thing to Maria. I traded her a park badge pin, which she very cutely um, actually included in the original box, I guess. So cute. Um, but then oh, I also see presents and a card and so unexpected, but like I, it's Christmas Eve today as I'm filming this and maybe if you're watching it and I'm feeling so lucky and blessed. So that is so sweet. Okay, I'm gonna open the card first and it just says Kate on the outside. And if you're wondering, I do spell Kate K-A-T-E. I know some people spell it K-A-I-T if you spell my Caitlin like I do. Um, but I'm a K-A-T-E person. But if you ever spell it differently, I really don't care. Um, oh, okay, this is cute. It says, and maybe you can see the cute snowman as I read it as well. Um, you'll see a close-up of it on my, my pin board. Kate, thank you for my first pin trade. It has been very exciting and the pin will be so special to me. That is awesome. Thank you also for the wonderful content. I love watching your YouTube. Merry Christmas, Maria. Thank you so much, Maria. And it says, P.S. Do you collect Harry Potter pins? We haven't, dot, 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 yet. Um, I would love to. I, I don't know if I have any. I don't know if I have any Harry Potter pins, but I would love to. I feel like they need to release a heck of a lot more. I know Universal has a chocolate frog pin and that is like the number one grail Harry Potter pin that I have. So that's like one day. So first I'm going to uh, look at the pin that I traded with Marie for now. It was a little, um, 
a little interesting because I was so excited to make a tray with Maria, I wound up also being sent this pin by my wonderful friend Coral at the channel Coral Joy Travel. So I do have this pin twice and um, that's really nice because now one of them can be a keeper, one of them can be a trader and that is super awesome. So it is, oh and this looks perfect, this looks absolutely beautiful and super shiny. It is the treasure hunting park badge, and I never really loved Pirates of the Caribbean before this summer. Like, I loved the movie franchise, but not the ride. Um, but when I went to Disneyland, they had so many vignettes of these skeleton pirates, and I was obsessed with them. Like, I really don't care that much for the people of Pirates of the Caribbean, but I love the skeletons. And look at these gifts that she sent, and I actually have the same wrapping paper. A lot of people wanted to know when I did my mystery swaps, like where I got my wrapping paper from. Target! Get my wrapping paper from Target. That's typical. Because I feel like you can get the same design sometimes um, at like um, the dollar store, but you don't get as much wrapping paper. So I'd rather just spend money and get extra paper. I hate running out of wrapping paper. That's like the worst. Okay, so two of these have notes on them. The third one doesn't, so I'm not sure if it was supposed to, um, but we'll see. So this one note says, my boys and I love opening these. We wanted to just share one with you. Thought you might appreciate the theme. Hmm. Interesting. I'm very curious. I did not expect to be opening a Christmas present today. Oh, this is so cute. And I've seen my friend Katie over at the awesome channel, Over the Mooney, open these. And they are Harry Potter Lego figurines from Fantastic Beasts. And there are so many cool characters in here. There are definitely a couple I'd want the most. My absolute favorite Harry Potter universe character is Dobby. And my second favorite is Creature. So... Um, the super big house elf fan and then my third is Snape. Snape of course would not be in here neither would Creature but Dobby is in here it looks like. Um, there's also like Dumbledore, there's um, Newt, there's Voldemort, there, there's Harry. So I guess it's a Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts mashup because yeah there's like Neville. There's some really cute characters in here so why don't we just see who we get? I'm not going to make anybody wait for like a future video, right? Like it's, it's time. So Katie, I, I, I'm like feeling you right now. Like I'm totally channeling my inner over the moony side. These bags are like ultra star, my, strong. I had to break out my heavy duty scissors. Oh, this is cool. Like, so who did this come with? I don't know who this is, but I see an owl and it looks like Hedwig. So I'm assuming maybe this is Harry. I actually don't think I've ever built a Lego person before. I think this might be the first ever time in my life that I've built a Lego character. Oh my god, I think it is. And what an amazingly classic character to get. So I'm going to take a second to just stick this together. Let's see how fast you can actually uh, create these, right? So there's Harry's body. Here's his face. Oh my god, this is so weird. Like fun, but like so strange. Oh, he has like crazy big hair. And then there's something weird here. I, I think it's his wand, but there's two of them. I guess maybe because they're so small in case you lose it. So let me break the wand free. Let's see if Harry can hold the wand. Yes, he can. I'm making him a lefty wizard. And then let's uh, put he Hedwig next to him. Oh, Harry jumped right off the Lego board. Never fear, Harry was recovered, and yes, he's holding his wand. Look how huge his hair is. And I think my favorite part of this is actually Hedwig. I really love Hedwig. But Harry's robes are also super cool in this. Well, that was really fun. I definitely did not expect to be building a Lego character today. And as I said, we thought these would be fun to open. They seem cute. We sent two so you and John could each have one. Okay, that's why this one didn't have a note. Okay. That is so, what is this? Oh, and that's so thoughtful to, to think of John. Oh my god, the Nightmare Before Christmas Mystery Minis plushies. I have not seen these. And so then there's another one for John here. So Maria, I know I just said I didn't want to make anybody wait to see that Lego figurine, but John's not here in this video. So I really feel like I should wait for him. And we're going to be in a video together really, really soon. So I actually would love to wait. I don't even want to unwrap this one. I want to be like, hey, Maria, I got this for you. Um, so I don't think anybody out there will mind that very soon you'll see an unboxing of some um, Nightmare Before Christmas collectible plushies. That is so cool. I know the ones we'd be hoping to get. So that's really awesome. Thank you so much. That was really thoughtful. Speaking 
of another person who sent me the same pin. I got this card, and I, it's kind of like a thank you card because I sent something Coral's way. I sent some pins her way. I got this awesome card. I want to say it's a Christmas card, but it's really not because it says, Have a magical new year with love, Coral Joy Travel. So thank you so much, Coral. I really actually really like this. She says, Thank you so much, Kate, for the pins and most card. You're a treasure, which is actually funny because we were just talking about the treasure hunting pin. Merry Christmas to you and your boy. <laughs> That's cute. Um, all my best, Coral. Thank you, Coral. This really meant a lot to me. I'm going to give a quick close-up of it, but I actually really would love to use this on my January pin board since it says, Have a magical new year. Look how pretty this is, everybody. I love how the castle is lit up. The partner statue is beautiful. Everything about this is just amazing. There is also a ton of things inside this package. And this package was sent to me by my friend Holly. And Holly is so thoughtful. Holly, everybody, by the way, is the person who sent me the alien pin um, that he's the addresses the popcorn Santa bucket. And thank you so much, Holly. That was really sweet. So I definitely did not expect this package as well. I thought that was what you were sending me. Um, I'm definitely putting him on my Christmas pin board, so I'm going to show you guys him again tomorrow. But Holly sent me, first of all, these little Ferrero Rochers. And I think these have, um, oh, it says fine hazelnut. So I'm not a nut person by like of any kind, but I don't think Holly will mind. I'll pass these off to John's dad, who is a huge sweet eater. So I'll pass those along to him and he will probably really enjoy those. Holly also sent me one of those mini ornaments. Oh my God, and it, but it's not really that little. So I'm just gonna say, you know what? It's a mini ornament because it features my girl, Minnie Mouse. This is so beautiful. I love, love, love this. And I feel like this is something I could definitely have all year round um, up as well. Thank you, Holly. That really means a lot to me. Oh, okay. This was a pin trade. That makes sense. This was a pin trade. Totally forgot. <laughs> so those are some really sweet extras. So I traded with Holly for three pins, and um, two of them are, I think one is an open edition, one is a flare pin set pin, and, which so I'm getting really cool pins from her, but the coolest comes in a tin. Like what, I, did, I had no idea, I can't believe she even still has the tin from the pin she was trading. And it's from the Disney Duets collection, it's an LE pin of 3000, and when you open it up, the pin is inside and it looks like a beautiful little brooch. So this Disney Duets was like a really cool collection that as far as I can tell seems like it featured a villain and the princess of the movie. So in this case of course the villain is my girl Maleficent who's my favorite female villain and my second overall favorite villain behind Gaston. And of course there's Aurora in there but I mean let's be honest I traded because of Maleficent. And I really feel like I had no idea this pin was like so awesome and like so limited edition or anything so i feel like holly let me have this for a steal thank you so much holly and then this is very seasonally inappropriate but i'm already thinking about next year you know so i wanted this mickey mouse ghost you've got spirit pin that was i believe from a four pin flare set this past halloween and finally, Holly said she had a feeling I would want this one. This was an open edition, I believe, pin that I had my eye on. It says, fly me to the Disney parks. And we will, we will be flying to the Disney parks at least once this year. We'll be driving at least once as well. And uh, so you'll see this on an upcoming pin board for sure. Thank you again so much for the trade, Holly. I loved all the extras and I love that little alien pin and you are such a thoughtful human being and you're beautiful and I love you. This next one was not a trade. This was a super thoughtful package, I'm assuming, because I mean, how could it not be? Sent to me by a new friend, Michaela. And Michaela and I wound up having like this amazing talk after she just was like, hey, I like your channel. I'd like to send you something for the holidays. Um, and we just got to talking. She also lives in Philadelphia, like I do. And so she's thinking about going to Temple University for um, like her, her, like her continuing her education. And I went to Temple University for my undergrad. So that was really cool. And I do want to show you the front of her package. 
So I'm just showing you the corner to show you the really cute um, post-it notes and stickers she included because that was super meaningful to me. And I know that this um, post-it set was something that a few sub boxes sent out and also was at the Disney store. And it's something I had my eye on but I never quite got around to getting. So it was super cool to just be able to see them on a package. And there are a ton of little um, Little Mermaid characters on here so that's always fun to see. Okay. Oh my goodness, I don't know what this is, but it is really wrapped beautifully. I like shiny paper, I'm all about it. And then some pins, or pin maybe, in, um, I recognize this bag, it's beautiful. And Lady and the Tramp, whom I love, of course, and this is a bag that Disney Chris on Instagram sends fantasy pins out in. So that's cool. I'm excited to open that one up. But of course we have to get to the card, and it says, Princess Minnie Kate. Card first, right? That's the, that's the way to do it. That's the correct order. Oh my god, it's Rudolph! And, oh, and, yep. Yeah. <laughs> says, I hope you enjoy. Oh my god, I love the stickers that are in here. Oh, this is incredible! So first off, it's a Rudolph card. You're going to see it tomorrow on the pin board again, so I won't go into super amount of depth now with it. But when I opened it up, guys, look what I saw. Look at these Beauty and the Beast emoji stickers. How hysterical are these? I really hope those showed up well because they're incredible. Especially Maurice, he's so funny. I love these. I need to know where you got these. I love these. Um, oh, and she signed the card, Happy Holidays, Michaela, fellow Philadelphian. <laughs> That's really funny. Kate, thank you so much for being you. You're all welcome for that. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this beautiful fantasy pin that I had. Oh, so I am going to get a fantasy pin. I thought it was just a fantasy bag. I remember you and John saying how much you love the specific thing, so maybe you'll both enjoy it. I also hope you enjoy this Disney pa diamond painting in your spare time. I actually have a couple diamond paintings, one of which I started, but they are not Disney themed because I bought them before, like I bought them at the start of the diamond painting craze before um, any of the Disney ones are available. Um, that is so wonderful. She shouts out like all the Disney YouTubers. Uh, Philadelphians are special. Agreed. We are our own breed of people. Happy holidays to you, John, and your family. Love, Michaela. XOXO. Thank you, Michaela. I really appreciate this. I can't wait to put this card on my pin board. So now I know this is a diamond painting. Oh my god, you guys know me. What do I do if I get one of these? Oh my god, I have to like find a way to fit it in. I feel like, I feel like here. I feel like here. Yep. So that will be on for the rest of the video. Sorry if it looks silly. That's just what I do. That is what I do. Okay. So I'm not going to like unwrap the whole diamond painting or anything. That would be crazy. Um, and I probably won't actually even be able to start this until maybe spring break or maybe summer break. Because then, because I have a tendency, like I started one of these and I just did not continue it. So, oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. Uh, I was wondering if something in here was going to be Little Mermaid themed because of the Little Mermaid, Mermaid stickers on the front. And this is, it's a lovely, let me see if I can get a little more detail on it if I just go like this. I think it, I think, oh, I can probably just take it out. So this looks like it's going to be a gorgeous Ariel and Flounder and Sebastian diamond painting. I love how Ariel's hair looks especially in this and her pose is so princessy. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. And again, here is the bag that she sent. So let's just open this up at camera and check out the fantasy pin that she sent along. Okay, I definitely can't tell what it is through the bubble wrap. So, let's reveal it. Oh my god, this is so cool. That is really, really neat. I definitely think John will like that. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh my god, that is so, so cool. I love that. See, see guys, I was so not expecting that. I couldn't even like get my words together to describe that pin, but that will definitely be on an upcoming Disney pin board. I know exactly where that's gonna go. I'm really excited. Thank you so much, Michaela. That was so unnecessary, but really, really brought so much joy to me. I cannot believe how thoughtful you were and how generous, and I appreciate that to no end. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, this next one was a trade. I do recognize the last name of the person. And they sent along a card, and it must be a Christmas card because that's why I'm including it. Oh, and it's a funny one. Uh, thank you for helping me finish my collection. Love, Emily. You are welcome, Emily. I can't remember which collection I helped you finish, but I'm super excited about that. 
Look at this hysterical card of Cat Santa! And Cat Santa just bought my boys a new $80 cat perch today, so... Just saying, Cat Santa is looking out for my family. Oh, and there is a kitty cat pin in here. I could not remember if I had this really adorable Marie pin or not, so I just decided to jump on it. So I'm gonna have to scour my collection, see if I have it. If I do, I'm actually planning a Marie giveaway sometime in the new year. Don't get too excited, it's, it's a while away. But, because I'm trying to collect some really cool Marie stuff, but I just know she's one of people's favorites. So I figured if I didn't have this, perfect for my collection. If I did, perfect for a Marie giveaway. Oh my god, this next one is extra special to me because this is not Christmas themed at all, but it was a gift from a very, very special person in my life, my sister Lauren. And um, she bought me this pin ages ago. And she was so excited to give it to me for uh, John and I's six year wedding anniversary, which was at the beginning of the month. And she did give it to me towards the beginning of the month, but I just have not gotten a chance to show it. And it, I didn't make it in time for my pin board, but it will come in my January pin board. And it is this absolutely stunning bride and groom Mickey and Minnie like ring pin. Like there's so much going on here. So this pin is super shiny and really sparkly and Minnie's veil is really glittery and I really love how the veil looks, the bow looks, the groom's top hat looks. I just, this is such a classy, classic looking pin and I'm so excited that I have it. Thank you so much, Lauren. So since that one was not Christmassy, let's get back into the Christmas spirit. We are winding down at this point. I totally recognize this person's name. Oh, a fellow Pennsylvanian. And this was from Kim or Kimberly. I'm not sure how you prefer. I do always see your name is Kimberly. So this is from Kimberly. And this is so beautiful. This is a deer card. And if you were if you watched um, a recent holiday magical holiday video I said that I feel like I look like a deer and that to me that's like a good thing it's a good animal to look like um, and I loved hearing what you guys thought you looked like as well animal wise that was really fun if you have not told me feel free to tell me in the comments of this video what animal do you think you look like and this is a gorgeous card featuring a deer and a red cardinal and John and I really are big bird fans as well so that is gorgeous May you find wonder in unexpected places. May you feel at peace in the world. May you find comfort in the little things. Kate and John, wishing you a perfectly wonderful Christmas. Happy New Year too. Oh, Kim. <laughs> so now I know. Kate, I enjoy watching your vlogs. I saw this and thought of you. All I know is... All I know about it is you like or love this character and it's supposed to be a chaser. Ooh, what? I hope you enjoyed this small gift and thank you for sharing your Disney love with me through your channel. Best wishes, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Oh my god, so your card's definitely going on my pin board that I'm putting together as soon as this video is over. And I can't wait to see what this chaser pin is. Oh my god, I'm so excited. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh my god, this is no small gift, Kim. Oh my god. I am so overwhelmed right now. Like, tears are coming. This was so incredibly thoughtful of you. Holy crap, it does say Chaser, and it also says limited edition of 350. Girl, what are you doing? Thank you so much. Oh my god. Guys, look, it features my favorite Nightmare Before Christmas character, Harlequin. And a couple of you have reached out and told me there were more Harlequin pins in existence, and this was one of them. I can't believe I own this. I can't believe this was gifted to me. That was so thoughtful, Kim. Oh my god, and look, so I'm pretty, like, I don't know much about this set whatsoever. Um, so somebody, if you know anything about it, guide me in the right direction in the comments. But it looks to me like Harlequin is popping out of a recycling bin. Maybe it's on Main Street in Disney. I don't know. Oh, oh my god, I love this. Look at his hair. Look at his outfit. Oh, look at his mouth. His mouth is my favorite part of him that I like it's not really attached to his body. I just cannot believe that. That was intensely thoughtful. Thank you so, so much. It's in this beautiful paper. And this one really made me smile because it says, it's addressed to the Linengers. And then underneath the Linengers, it says, Princess Minnie and Husband. <laughs> It's so funny. I love that. And then I had to, I didn't want to open it because I really wanted to show you guys what the back looked like. Look how pretty this is. I really don't even want to open it still. I kind of recognize the last name that is in the return address. So I'm really hoping that the person obviously signed the card so I can learn exactly who sent this to me. Oh my god. Oh, I just, 
threw Christmas confetti at myself, little tree confetti. Oh my god, that's so funny. Oh my god. So I was just expecting that maybe I was on this person's like Christmas card list or something. Oh my god, I'm still picking up um Merry Christmas and tree confetti. But this was clearly a handmade card. It's phenomenal. I am not gonna want to put this away with the rest of my Christmas decorations. Look at this, guys. Oh, and it actually says it was handmade on the back by Irresistible Magic, NZ Cole. Guys, look, it's Alien as Santa. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. Look at his expression, his arms. It's perfect. This is perfect. I wish I had this kind of skill. So yeah, there is a lot more, um, oh my god, confetti in here. That's so fun. But then there is such a long, I thought your name was Nicole, like when I saw the last name. Oh my gosh, so I'm going to say this is from Nicole. And this is Kate and John, the warmest of Christmas wishes. I'm going to show you this while I read it because that's like more fun than just looking at me read something. The warmest of Christmas wishes and the most heartfelt hopes for a magical new year. Thank you for being a blessing to the world of YouTube. Your effervescent and illuminating personality transcends happiness. Oh my goodness, that is like the nicest compliment I've ever gotten. I adore witnessing you and your husband's energy, the admiration you both share for Disney, the fun and playful way you simply interact as a reminder that me and my husband aren't actually as rare as the world makes me feel. That's lovely. Disney is by far a happy place in our memory and go our go-to for movies when sports are not on. That sounds like my house too. May you both always look at each other with desire of what's to come and the journey life will take you on. Strengthen what you have built and the memories made and joy in the love you share with those you treasure. Much success continued on YouTube and in personal life. May you find this season joyous and your year filled with great big beautiful tomorrows. Oh my god, that just gave me chills at the end when you said great big beautiful beautiful tomorrows because John and I love going on that ride together. We actually have maybe if um <laughs> maybe if it, if it ever comes to that and I'm, I'm lacking for content, I'll sing you a song that I actually made up to the tune of um the Carousel of Progress theme song. <laughs> uh one day when we were waiting for a bus at Disney in the cold. This is amazing. I really appreciate this. This is like the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me in here. Thank you, Nicole. And like, I'm a speech giver. You, you might have guessed that. I like giving speeches um, whenever it's John's birthday or someone's like event. I like to like give them a little toast. And um, I, I feel like this is like a, just a speech she wrote to me and that is so sweet. This is definitely going on the pin board. Oh my God. Okay, two things left in this video. Super cute card that said Kate. Now I'm thinking this actually came in a package and I don't know why I took it out of the package. Maybe the rest of it did not have um, Christmassy things in it. I just wanted to share the card with you. So I'm so sorry, whoever this is. Um, I will be sharing the rest of what you sent to me. But it is this super sweet, it matches the, the um, envelope I just showed you, snowman with some cardinals. And he's got himself a little Christmas tree. And this is, f oh! Oh, yes. I know exactly why I separated this because, okay. All right. Hope your Christmas is very merry, always bright and filled with reasons to smile. Kate, I hope you are having an amazing December. I'm loving all your Vlogmas videos. I'm so doing Vlogmas next year. I'm having a blast through being on you. I'm having a blast though being on YouTube, making so many awesome friends. Thank you for supporting my channel and being so sweet. I also want to wish you and John a happy anniversary. Happy holidays, Rita. And Rita is a wonderful YouTuber. She does so much cool Disney content, including mystery pin unboxings, subscription box unboxings, lots of cool stuff. And she's just a really fun human being. And she's so sweet. She's been doing some park pickups for me. And so this came with some park pickups. And I'm, I just wanted to make that its own special video. So I'm going to be sharing that with you very soon. But I, of course, wanted to include the Christmassy card she sent so I could put it on my pin board. Definitely go check Rita's channel out. Um, you will have a lot of fun, especially if you are like, oh my god, Vlogmas is like pretty much over. I'm not gonna have anything else to watch. You're gonna have a bunch of Rita videos to watch. There you go. Merry Christmas. Okay, last thing that I have to open, I saved special for last. This is from someone I have become very cool friends with. Her name is Melissa. I've mentioned her a bunch of times on this channel because we have traded probably like four times or maybe more. She's also sent me some gifts and, and um, she's actually also, like we've talked on um, Messenger a few times. And so I don't think I was expecting this, Melissa. I can't remember if you told me you were gonna send something, but 
Look how pretty, look how pretty this is. This is so nice. This is, I don't, I don't deserve this. This is so nice. Melissa, you're such a nice person. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. I like literally, and I know it's Christmas Eve, but I just ran out to Target this morning to get some gift boxes. And I bought one that looks exactly like this. So clearly I like this idea. <laughs> I also kind of feel like I could easily do Christmas ears with this like design idea. Okay. Kate, wishing you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you enjoy your goodies. P.S. The packages are numbered. Your friend Melissa. Oh, I love that. I'm definitely the kind of person who will be like, okay, you can't order, you can't open your gifts in the order you want. Like here, this is for present one, this is present two. Cause like you definitely have an order you want them to go in. This is so nice. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're all wrapped. Oh my God. This is hysterical. Oh my God. Okay. So I reached out to Melissa. Um, this one is not numbered. This is just an extra. I mean, these are all extras, right? So I reached out to Melissa because she collects everything. She's like me and or maybe I'm like her and I could not complete the frozen mystery pin set. And so I reached out to her. I was like, do you possibly have that darn troll pin for trade or sale? And, um, she was like, no, I'm so sorry. I don't. I was like, darn it if anybody in the world had it i would have thought it was melissa and then like oh and i actually wound up getting it from somebody so i was like you know it's a, it's cool whatever that's fine um i just appreciated that she even took the time to think about it for me and then like maybe later that day or maybe the next day i can't remember she messaged me back and she was like i do have that darn pin i just thought i didn't and she said it to me which is actually amazing because even though i was able to get one for the giveaway which i will share that soon um this one can now be for my collection oh my god that's so amazing thank you so much melissa you're so thoughtful and here it is the most elusive troll to me in the entire world it's so cute though i, I do like it actually so i am going to open up the rest of melissa's box per her order then we're going to open the advent calendar and then i'm going to go like edit this video and post it because you might have a boring Christmas Eve. I don't know your, your life, and you might um, need something to watch. Oh my god. Oh! Oh my god! These are so cool! Okay, what I have here are some Tsum Tsums, and the ones you can build. And they're Santa Jack in um, what looks like a, like a coffin sleigh, and Sally in her basket that she builds to take to Jack while he's doing his science experiments. And so Melissa, I don't think you'll mind, but my niece is also super in love with these. I'm definitely keeping them, but I think she might get a kick out of seeing these and putting them together for me. So I'm just gonna show everybody what this looks like. I love Santa Jack so much. But then I'll let Daniela help me open this um, and actually put it together she'll get a kick out of that and then like you can see her little basket that has the fish skeleton and the potion she puts together this this is so crazy thoughtful there okay there are three things in here um oh my god well you know what we gotta do here we go all right wait okay so this one i don't see a number on this one let me see i don't see a number okay but it does have of course one of these things Okay. Oh wait, okay. Oh, I see a number. Okay, I do see a number. They're just so little. Green is number one, so I'm gonna go with this one. And it says, let's be jolly. I'm feeling jolly. A surprise for everyone. Ooh, ah, it's green like my little green aliens, right? <gasps> what? Oh my God, oh my God. Guys, we're doing another mystery pin unboxing in this video. We did one earlier, right? Yes. Oh, we did a Lego thing. I feel like we did a pin unboxing. Oh my God, this has been such a, a long video and I did not intend for it to be. This is so thoughtful. So this is a Nightmare Before Christmas set that came out at Hot Topic. And I mean, all the pins are so super cool. Oh my God, there are definitely a couple I have my eye on extra special, but I'd be happy to get any two of these. That is so cool. All right, let's open these up. I can't believe it. I did, did not expect to be doing this mystery pin unboxing. I did not. Okay, I'll open both and then I'll show you guys close-ups of the camera. What are we getting, what are we getting? 
Oh, this is cool. It's Barrel. Oh, and Barrel's been like growing on me so much. At first, I did not like him at all. I didn't like any of the kids. And now Barrel might be my favorite kid. He's so weird. He's so weird. Oh my God, he's so weird. Okay, and then this one. It's definitely not Barrel. Oh, this is cool. John's gonna love this one. It is Jack. And Jack is definitely his favorite character from the whole movie. And it's Jack making a super scary face. So here's that barrel pin. He's an extra creepy little boy, isn't he? But I like that he's um, taking his mask off because you usually do see the kids with their masks on. So it's really neat to see him with that off. And here we have the Jack pin. And it's it's um this is actually the face he makes at Lock, Shock, and Barrel. So that's pretty cool. I really, really like the outline in this pin and that you can see how spindly Jack's arms and legs are in this one too. John's gonna love this one. Second gift. Have a merry little Christmas. I recognize this. It says, a surprise for you, but not for me. And then she said, I totally copied this from Jessica Meredith, which is what Jess wrote to me um, in our swap on something, like a mystery pin box she had opened. Um, and holy crap. Holy crap. You, yo, you got me, girl. You so got me. <laughs> you got me. It's four more boxes. It's four more of that set. So wait, then are these already opened? Did she want to make sure she didn't like send me doubles or something? No, no. Oh yes, it is. It is opened. Okay. Oh my God. I can't believe that. So I'm just going to open all of them up. I can't believe this, Melissa. I cannot believe this, but I'm not going to like leave you guys hanging in suspense. I am going to show you every single pin. So then I'm sure there's not doubles in these, but I guess there could be ones in, um, to the ones that we just got. Oh, it'd be so cool to get like lock or shock to go with barrel. Oh man, that is so cool. And there are 12 pins in this. The two just come out of that one? Oh my God. So I have seven of the 12, assuming no doubles. Oh my God, that's so cool. I am feeling so spoiled. I'm like a little kid on Christmas. Let's see. What is this one? What is this one? What's this? What's this, right? It's not a double! It's the mayor and it's Happy Mayor, who's my preferred mayor. Oh, this is super cool. Next one! What do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Oh, it's locked to go with Barrel! That's awesome! He's also without his mask, so that's super cool. Third one! It's not a double! And it's Sally! We are getting so many cool different characters from this film! I can't believe it because I never came across these boxes at my Hot Topic. This is so insane. Oh, it's Scary Teddy. Oh, I wanted this pin. This is so cool. Okay, one last one. What's it going to be? Oh, that's awesome. It's Dr. Fink Finkelstein, who is not usually one of my faves, but he's creating the reindeer that Jack used to fly, used to fly as Santa. That's so cool. So here's that Finkelstein pin, and Finkelstein, like Frankenstein, and you can see how he's creating the skeleton uh, reindeer, which is one of my favorite parts. And is that, that that spider at the top that I showed you I traded with Matt and Maria for earlier? That's a pretty cool touch. And Scary Teddy! Oh my god, that is such a fun part of the movie where it starts chasing the little kids around on Christmas morning. And Sally just sitting at like in the graveyard with I think that's Deadly Nightshade. Very cool. And look at Locke and that devilish, <laughs> pun intended I guess, expression on his face. I like that he's holding the mask behind him as well. That's like as big as his whole body. And finally Mr. Mayor and he's actually holding up his schematics for next year's Halloween plans which he tries to show Jack. Which I think is hysterical because it's really just a bunch of drawings of like bats and black cats and stuff. And guys as if Melissa had not spoiled me enough, she continued, I can't believe it. There's another bow. Make sure that's really, really obvious. Wow, I'm feeling super Christmassy. I really am. And there's a nice little Santa tag on this one. Oh no, what is this gonna be? It says, I hope you have better luck than I did. What do I need luck on? What do I need luck on? Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh. So thoughtful. It's 
two boxes of the mystery minis, uh, the, yeah, the Funko mystery minis, and I know you can get these at like a couple places. I've seen them at like Walgreens or whatever. Um, so I wonder if you can still get these. I don't know. They Walgreens actually has some like amazing Disney merch. I just I don't know why, and especially Nightmare for Christmas. I don't know why they decided to do that, but they did. Thank you, Walgreens. So um, Melissa, you gotta tell me what was your bad luck? Did you just get like? the same one again and again or did you just did you just not get the character you were looking for so on here you can get like so many great characters I actually already have Jack from this set and if I went up getting Jack again that's no worries because I um like I was saying earlier my niece and my sister love this movie so I could just pass it on this one's like super super hardcore packed so here are the characters you could get. I would most like um, Zero, Sleepy Jack, Pumpkin King Jack, or Scary Teddy. All of these would be great though. And I feel like the odds of getting the same one, probably very unlikely. So that's awesome. Let's see who the first one is. Oh, blind bag. Okay, I'm just gonna then open both. Get both of those blind bags out of here. I can't tell who they are. Let's see. Oh, of course. that's so funny. We got Barrel. We got Barrel. He was also um, the first pin that I opened from her, too. So that's a cool connection there. Okay, who's this one going to be? Oh, no, it's broken. Oh, no, it's broken. And it's one of the ones I really wanted. It's, um, it's Pumpkin King Jack. So here's Pumpkin King Jack. It's it, I feel like it was a fairly clean break, so hopefully I can just um, hot glue this back together. If not, though, actually I still think that's pretty cute by itself. So no worries either way. And look at creepy old Barrel over there. He is so funny. I don't even remember. I guess that's one of his um like tools he uses to go kidnap the Sandy Claws. That is so great. Melissa, there are no words for like how much I want to thank you for that. That was so sweet. That was so unexpected. And I just, I can't thank you enough. I'm so glad we're pin friends and um, feel free to, you know, chit chat anytime, any old time. Time for the advent calendars is the first time forever. I haven't like forgotten about it until the end of the video. I cannot believe we're on the Christmas Eve pin. That's like, like what? What? Mm -mm. How's that possible? What's it going to be? This could be a food and wine pin. I'm still looking for one as I think that is what this is going to be. Food and wine, it's the food and wine pin. So, so far, I traded, actually I think I traded Melissa. Weird, weird coincidence there. I traded Melissa, I think, for the Mushu and the Duffy Bear from Japan and China. And then I also, in this calendar earlier, opened, um, Pinocchio for my favorite pavilion, the Italian pavilion. That was just recently. So I most am looking for Remy, although a ton of them would be super fun. So let's see what we get. Oh, well, it's a double. It is Duffy Bear from the Japan pavilion, but that's super cool. This Duffy pin was one of the ones I most wanted from the food and wine set, so I'll take it. I'm sure I can gift or trade this. No, no issues. There he is down at the bottom there. There's only one spot left on the board. I cannot believe tomorrow is Christmas. Thank you so much for following along with me. I super, super appreciate it. I am going to go put together my pin board. So actually in the next video, you'll see this whole contraption again, because I'm going to do that right now. Um, filming that for um, Christmas Day's video. And uh, so you're going to get to see my pin board tomorrow. I'm going to go, I'm going to edit, I'm going to enjoy my Christmas Eve, and uh, I'm going to see you real soon. Bye.